Hey guys and gals, this is Alden from the Mosin Crate. First things first, I can't discuss anything sales related here on YouTube. That includes answering things like how much are they, where can I buy them, how can I buy them. But if you go into rumble.com and search for the Mosin Crate without any spaces, you'll find this same video on there where I can and do answer questions like that. So be sure to check this video out on Rumble. So these are all Israeli IMI Jericho 941F pistols. Basically, the difference between these, import marking, by the way, is going to be on the bottom of the trigger guard. The difference between these and the original 941 is these have a frame-mounted safety, which, while not as collectible as, or nearly as expensive as the original 941, these are a lot more comfortable to uh, carry for that reason. So these are 9mm double action and single action. Again, the frame-mounted safety is just a safety. It's not a decocker or anything like that. These have polygonal rifling, and a lot of them, as you'll notice, will have lanyard loops because these were probably Israeli military at one time or another. This one here is the worst one by far, I would say. I would still call this good surplus condition. In fact, this is pretty much standard condition for what I've seen these imported at over the years. But we're going to go through here and kind of look through them. Some of them are probably going to be closer to very good, but just to be on the safe side, conservative side, I'm just going to grade all of them as good. And if you've not seen a Jericho before, these are pretty much a CZ-75 with an Israeli twist to them. So they're a CZ-75 clone or variant, and they are obviously Israeli. And what I like about them is they're all metal construction, so they're on the heavier side. Uh, the only thing not metal on them is going to be the grips, the polymer grips. But because they have that weight and the polygonal rifling, they tend to be extremely accurate handguns. And because they are a CZ-75 clone or variant, whichever word you want to use, they also tend to have that CZ-75 reliability too. And this is a rather small batch, usually probably 40, 50, 60, even more than that show up at once. This imported lot, the condition was nicer, a little bit nicer than I'm used to seeing, but there really weren't that many in here. I think there's a total of 21 in all. This is another one that has a little bit more finish wear to it. And that's going to do it for the Jerichos. I also have, for review because this is YouTube, some Beretta Cheetahs. So the top row are all the 84Fs. I should go and tell you all the Cheetahs that you're seeing in front of you here are in 380. Uh, this 84F here is one of the nicest ones I've seen imported. Uh, solid, excellent condition. There's just a little tiny bit of evidence of use here and there on it, mostly on the trigger guard. Now with the 84F, you're going to have single and double action and the safety functions as a decocker. And of course, it is an ambidextrous safety slash decocker. And the nice thing about these Italian Beretta Cheetahs is the triggers on them, or the uh, trigger pull is usually very smooth, both in single and double action. And they're just very high quality made pistols. And then these two I would grade as good maybe good plus on a good day. Again, import marking on the 84Fs are going to be on the bottom of the trigger guard. And then these are 84BB, so they're a little bit older variant. Import marking is going to be on the left side of the slide. The safety on these is just a safety. It is ambidextrous, but it does not function as a decocker. 
These are also a double stack magazine. I think it's a 12 round, maybe a 13 round. Uh, but you'll notice the finish difference between the 84F and the 84BB. So the 84BB has that really nice old school polished bluing, which I tend to think wears a lot better than that uh, enamel or whatever that finish is on the 84F. And I've got a lot more videos coming up over the next two or three weeks. So be sure to click that subscribe button because I will have quite a bit more surplus videos here for review shortly. Thanks for watching, guys.